One of the great things about web components is that they can be used together with pretty much any framework or tool. In this case, I have an existing jQuery application where I've used the jQuery UI date picker. And what I'd like to do is replace this with something a little bit more modern. So what I'm going to do is download Bun date picker and use that instead. First thing we need to do is install Bower. Bower is a package manager that we can use to install the actual dependencies for using the date picker. With that done, uh, we can go ahead and init Bower in our directory. This will just ask a few questions. We can just go with the defaults here. Looks good. And with Bower initialized, we can go ahead and install the date picker. I'm going to pass in the save argument here. That'll uh, save it into a Bower configuration file so that if somebody else picks up this project later on, they can pull in the same dependencies that we have. All right. With the dependencies installed, we can go ahead and start our server again and go back to our code here. So the first thing we can do is just go ahead and delete the jQuery UI library since we're not using it anymore. The second thing we need to do is include a web components polyfill. Uh, this is something that's only needed in browsers that don't have native support for uh, web components. So since we're using Chrome, we technically wouldn't need it, but just for completeness sakes, I'm gonna include it here. The second thing is to include the actual date picker. And the way we do that is through an HTML import. So this looks very much similar to a CSS import link, uh, just that we're targeting another HTML file. This is under the Bower Components folder that we just downloaded. And it's called Vaadin Date Picker. With Vaadin Date Picker uh, included, we can now go ahead and change the actual input here to a date picker and let's give this an ID. Now of course uh, since we're not using jQuery UI we don't need to initialize the date picker. We can just delete that and let's save this and just refresh the browser to see that it works. Okay. Um, we can definitely see that we have the date picker here. It looks a little bit wonky, so let's add some CSS to this. Web components can be styled like any other HTML element, so let's just add a selector for the date picker and just give it a width. And in order to get it to flow in line, we're just going to change the display value to inline block like that. Save that. Go back. Fresh, and there we have it. 